Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Ravi and I am a research scientist at NVIDIA. In this demo, I am going to walk you through a framework we are going to present at Drexis for sequential-based and session-based recommendation using transformer architectures. This framework, together with other NVIDIA libraries, NVTabular and Triton Inference Server, enables an end-to-end -end pipeline on GPU, from pre-processing to deployment and inference. This demo is particularly prepared based on our accepted paper, Transformers for REC, Bridging the Gap Between NLP and Sequential Session-Based Recommendation at ACM REXIS Conference. The demo consists of three sections. In the first section, we have a pre-processing and future engineering pipeline using the NVIDIA Merlin NVTabular library. And in the second section, we are building, training, and evaluating a session-based recommendation deep learning model using NVIDIA Merlin Transformers for REC library. And finally, in the third section, we showcase the inference step by deploying our trained model to the Triton inference server. Our goal with this demo is to showcase how we make it easy to build an end-to-end -end pipeline for session-based recommendation systems. So let's get started. We start with importing our required libraries and loading our dataset. For this demo, we are going to use publicly available Utrus e-commerce dataset. The first step is to clean our raw data by removing consecutive repeated interactions on the same item within a session. Then, here our goal is to create the session-based features using the NVTabular library designed for GPU-accelerated preprocessing. The first step of the workflow is to encode categorical features and derive temporal features for each item interaction using custom lambda function and NVTabular operations. We could also visualize the graph of the workflow to validate our pipeline. The second step is to create session-based features. In this cell, we are grouping the item features together at the session level, sorting the interactions by time. Note that we also trim each feature sequence in a session to a certain length and filter out sessions with less than two interactions. Here, we execute the NVTabular workflow to obtain the transformed data grouped at the session level. Finally, we can easily export our pre-processed dataset as Barkey files by partitioning on a given column. Here, we use the day index column for daily training. So now, we can move to the second section where we build our transformer-based, session-based deep learning model using Transformers for REC library. The library works as a bridge between NLP and recommender systems by integrating with one of the most popular NLP frameworks, Hagen Phase Transformers. Making state-of-the-art transformer architectures available for REXIS researchers and industry practitioners. Transformers for REC library is flexible, customizable, and has some extension points such as future preprocessing techniques, loss functions, prediction heads, etc. It supports multiple input features and provides configurable built-in blocks that can be easily combined for custom architectures. So here, we create a schema object by reading a schema prototext file. The library uses a schema format to configure the input features and automatically creates the necessary layers. These prototext files contain the description of each input feature. So in this cell, we will define the end-to-end session-based, transformer-based model in four steps. We first instantiate tabular sequence futures input model from the schema to prepare the embedding tables of categorical variables, project continuous futures, and concatenate futures vectors to generate the sequence of interactions embeddings. The model also supports language modeling tasks to prepare mask masked labels and inputs for training and evaluation. In this demo, we are going to use masked language modeling training method. Next, we could define one or multiple prediction tasks. For this demo, we are training our model for next item prediction task, using masked language modeling, where during training, the label can be a randomly selected item within a sequence. During inference, it is meant to always predict the next item to be interacted with. Then, 
we construct a transformer config based on the architectures provided by Hagen Phase Transformers framework. Here, we will use the XLNet config. Finally, we link the transformer body to the inputs and the prediction task to get the final PyTorch model class with all the layers needed. After we define the model, now we can start training by defining the training arguments and trainer class. For that, transformers for egg extends Hagen Phase Transformers trainer class to adapt the evaluation loop for session-based recommendation and the calculation of ranking metrics. The original train method is not modified, so that we can leverage the efficient training implementations provided by this library, such as health precision training. In addition, Transformers for Egg library uses the optimized GPU-based Invitabular PyTorch data loader that reads our Parquet data files directly into GPU. In this demo, we will use the fit and evaluate method that allows us to conduct a time-based fine-tuning by iteratively training and evaluating using a sliding time window. We particularly use daily fine-tuning and set the start time to 178 and end time to 180. We train using data of given day and evaluate on the validation data of the following day. The evaluation method prints out the traditional top-end ranking metrics used for sequential and session-based recommendation, such as NDCG at 20 and Recall at 20. We can also visualize the average over time metrics summarizing the results over multiple days. After model training and evaluation is completed, we can save our trained model. Here, we also use Invitabular's export PyTorch ensemble function, which enables us to create model files and config files to be served to the Triton inference server. Individual Triton inference server simplifies the deployment of AI models at scale in production. The last step is to deploy the ETL workflow and save the model to production. In the production setting, we want to transform the new input data similarly to the way training set was being transformed. Therefore, we deploy the Invitabular workflow with the PyTorch model as an ensemble model to Triton inference. The ensemble model guarantees that the same transformations are applied to the raw inputs. Here, we send the request to the Triton server and we want to get prediction results for this query. As we see, we get our logit values as prediction results. And with the handy utility function, visualize response, we can easily convert these predicted logit values to the recommended top five item IDs. So that's it. We presented an end-to-end -end pipeline for a session-based recommendation model using ExcelNet architecture. Please check out our Transformers for Act paper and our more detailed tutorial on end-to-end session-based recommendation on GPU presented at Drexis21. You can also check our Transformers for Act GitHub repo for more information and examples. Thank you.